So my name is Zena McCarthy. I'm a freelance makeup artist and special effects artist. Day to day, my job is very, very varied. So as I said, I do special effects. I do film, theatre, TV, and I do bridal as well. So I literally go from blood and gore to beauty. So it does depend on my scenario. One of the main skills as a makeup artist, obviously a little bit of creativity, that's obviously. But I would honestly think two of the main things is you've got to be a people's person and you've got to listen. If you're having direction from a fashion designer or the production team or the director of a film, your vision might not be what their vision is and your job is to actually bring out what they say. So you've got to get people. So I honestly believe more than creativity is people skills. The sort of people this job suits would be, as I say, somebody that's got empathy. If your actor is freezing cold, trying to learn the lines, they don't want you that talking about your problems. It's all about them and getting them into that position. If you're doing a bride and she's nervous and the adrenaline's running and everything's piped up, you've got to go quiet or just soothe her or whatever. Okay, so like with every career, we've got highs and lows. And I would say, I've got so many highs that they outweigh the lows. So let me start with the lows first, just to make sure that you understand that this job does have a lot. You can have some really grumpy people. You can have some very, people that's had a lot of issues just before they've walked into your chair. You can have very cold climates. I have worked just recently on a film where it's been literally minus 13, four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning. And that's awful. But the pleasure, the wonderful thing is when you see your work come to life on the stage, on the big screen, or you get a letter of thank you from that bride saying that you added to her day, that is worth its weight in gold. I get asked quite a lot if I need a degree to do what I'm doing, if you need special training. So I took the route, I went into beauty therapy first of all. I took a two day makeup course in Australia and I blagged my way onto the Versace makeup team in Sydney. Then I got asked to launch Clarence Cosmetics. Then I got pushed forward for a job in the Middle East. So it's just evolved. But I did go back five years ago to do Neil Gorton special effects course, which was seven weeks long, very intense. I needed that to push myself further. So nowadays, I definitely think going to some kind of college or university is beneficial. So salary, this is again, a massive, massive differ. And good place to, um, get the raise is Beck2. Beck2 is um, an insurance group for makeup artists, well, for creatives, for wiggies, for hairdressers, whatever. And they really do have your back and they post up what the going rates should be. So it really is from here to here. Me as a young age, I took the wrong route and I took the difficult and harder route, but it's been a journey and I've loved every minute of it. Nowadays, I say to my young people that come and get me, oh, I've had one person come and assist me and she came in with the wrong attitude, lovely girl, but I asked her to blend eyeshadows, to blend it out, and she said, no, I don't need to, I can Photoshop it. Wrong attitude. You wanna go in there knowing that you're gonna make the photographer's jobs as easy as possible. You're gonna go in there thinking, I'm gonna make that camera guy the best, or woman, the best friends, because you're gonna limit the amount of work they have to do after they're there. This industry, when I was coming up through the ranks, if you like, was very much, and it still is a little bit, who you know. Um, this is why universities and getting courses are better, because you're actually taught by industry people. They, I know they come in and make guest appearances. So that's really good, because you're getting to know somebody and they might name drop different people. So I've, I'm very blessed. I lived in the Caribbean. So sometimes it's where you want to be doesn't always suit what you want to do. So there I was doing bridal makeup, but I wanted to get into special effects. So I had to leave the environment that I love to follow my heart. Is this what I wanted to do as a girl? I wanted to do makeup from the age of 13. I was doing my mum and her friends makeup when they were going out and whatever at the age of 13. I loved it, absolutely loved it. And I really wanted to go down that route and I got kind of careered into being a beauty therapist instead. I lasted in beauty therapy for, I think it was nine years. And then, as I said, in Australia, I stepped out and did um, makeup. But as I said, there's always a reward. 
Luckily for me, because I understood the skin from my beauty background and I excelled in the skincare and I did night classes in it as well, I can then offer extra help to my clients and my brides because I come from a different background. So there's always kind of swings and roundabouts, but makeup, I think I was born with glitter in my veins.